Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope that I am audible. Am I? Hello everyone. I hope everyone is fine, doing well today. I am audible. Perfect. Excellent. We are right on time and we'll give a couple of minutes for others to join. And today is going to be quite interesting and very different. Very different from last time. Very happy to see everybody. Neha, Riya, Shri Kumar, Avantika, Saurav, Susmita. Good evening to all of you. Uzair, Sumain, Tushar. Many familiar names, many old students, many new ones. It's always a pleasure to be doing stuff like this. And it's always interesting. It makes this journey of the UPSC exam, which is otherwise not always a very pleasant one. I mean, it's full of stresses and ups and downs, makes it interesting and also perhaps makes it much simpler. Noyonika, I'm much better now. Thank you for asking. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So do you have the newspaper ready with you? Because today things are going to be different. Today, you will be telling me what to do and I will be doing something and we are going to be playing this sort of a to and fro game. You have the newspaper? Naturally, you would not have, have, have received the Hindu today because of Ganesh Chiturthi. So you probably got, you got Times of India, Nikita, that's fine. I, I have the Indian Express. Most people would have had the Indian Express and that's completely fine. Like I mentioned the last time, it all boils down to, you know, how we analyze the paper because all of them follow the same rules. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, on that note, at precisely the time which we decided, let us begin. I'll give you a brief overview of what we have to do today. And this session will require you to have some attention on your keyboards because I will be asking you inputs and you'll be giving me those inputs and then according to what you tell me, I'll be doing certain things and then we'll see what the outcome is in about an hour from now. And I'll need some of your attention directed towards your newspaper. As much as possible, I will share my screen and I will show you the newspaper also from my end. But so that's what we'll be doing. And the difference between this session and the previous one, Shivani, Malar, Akshata, the difference is that last time I did the exercise and I demonstrated it. And you very patiently and very sincerely understood it. And then you also started to fill up this daily feeder page for the, you started to fill up this daily feeder page, I hope. And I'm very happy to see that many, many of many students, many of you have been able to do this consistently for four days. And I'd be even happier to tell you that since you have gone this four day distance, you see something magical starts to happen. When you do things consistently for four or five days, it starts to become a habit. Now, and I'm willing to bet, is it happening to you that if you don't do the newspaper, that if you don't do the newspaper now, on this day or tomorrow, you feel something is missing. You feel something is not right. You feel you haven't done something. You haven't done justice to the day. Is that happening? To, at least to Krishna, it's happening. And to Sona also. It's very good. That's, that's precisely what uh, the intention is. Precisely what we want should happen. But today, we are going to take things one step further. You see, last time, I did demonstrate it. I did demonstrate. And you learned. But... There is this one question which is always nagging us and it's a good question and it's the question how do you know what is important what is not important? How do you know that? The answer to that is that we know that through intuition after having spent a lot of time reading the newspaper or spending some time in general studies and so on today we will be building that intuition. Like I said today you will be telling me what to do. You will be telling me what to do and I will be doing it. So, a very quick refresher, and then you will start giving me the inputs and I'll start noting it and I'll start asking you questions. And then we'll take it from there. 
So uh, the first round, the first round, as you remember, is called the boxing out protocol. The boxing out protocol, very simple. The rules, the rules for this round are also very simple. We cannot read any of the fine text. See a lot of fine text in the newspaper. All this fine text in the newspaper, we cannot read it. In round one, we cannot read it. In round one, we have to restrict our forcibly only to the heading and the subheading. We can't do anything else. We have to restrict ourselves to the heading and the subheading and it is that that is going to lead us to this interesting exercise. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us move on to the first page and let us use this. Let us use this technique and let me ask you, as you open the newspaper, what do you see? What precisely do you see? You see, you would see, of course, you would see, for one thing, you would see some advertisements. You know what to do with the advertisements. You know you are the target of the advertisements and you also know that your attention is precious. Your attention is precious. It's your duty. It is your job and your obligation to protect it. It's your attention. Okay. Don't just give it to anything and everything that just pops up. Don't start responding to ads. Yes, agreed. Very good. Very good. So, first page. What do you see? You see, obviously, Mikhail Gorbachev. Do you see Gorbachev? Gorbachev is there. Gorbachev is going to be there for the entire newspaper. Following the rules, only heading and subheading. Only heading and subheading. My subheading says, Gorbachev who oversaw the end of the USSR and the Cold War, dies at 91. Do you think this is important? That the, it's, it's patently obvious that it is important. It is super important. Definitely important. What are we going to do when something is important? We box it out. We put a physical box around it. We do that because we don't want to lose our focus. When we come back to it, we know, want to know exactly what to read, what not to read. Quickly, we put a box. Please put your box. We must move ahead. We must be quick. You've done it? Done. Good. Excellent. Right next to it is a Let me show this to you. Right next to it. I don't know how big this is and how easily you can see it. But I am talking about this particular item here. And like I said, only heading, subheading, nothing else. Nothing else can be read. Only heading, subheading. Korbachev, who oversaw the end of the Cold War, all right, this one. And this, this is the one I'm talking about, the one about inflation and GDP. First quarter GDP up to 13.5%. Lower than RBI estimate, some revival post COVID. Household spend investments per fastest year on year growth in four quarters. Now, my question to you is this. My question to you is what do you think this really means? What do you think it means just based on your understanding of this is what we are planning on developing today. What do you think this means? Why is it important? What is it? Yes, yes, Yashi, definitely Yashi is correct. It is, of course, about growth. Correct, correct. GDP, yes, yes. Economic recovery after pandemic. Yes, Rahul, Rahul, you are there, but it's not the complete thing. See, read the read, read what it says. Read what it says. Economy is improving after COVID-19, but not as much, Dipanshu. Almost there. But you see, that's what we're trying to capture the essence of it without reading it. So that when we read it, we already have a very good strength. There is improvement in economy. Okay. Yes, Noyanika has got it and that's a good response to it. RBI has estimated some data but GDP is not up to. So, can I can I try to guess at the importance of it? Or try to paraphrase it? If you allow me the chance, I'll do that. You'll obviously mark it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You see, 
without being hasty without being hasty and without forming a lot of prejudgments do you remember that during covid when the economy slumped there was this talk of a rebound and that usually when pandemics and things like these happen that there is a sharp dip but then there is a sharp rebound as well yes that happened something like that was in the discussion and we saw a rebound if you don't know anything about economics you can tell that much even just from looking outside in the world we saw i agree sanjay it is low base effect but we don't need to know technical terms we are just in the domain of common sense nothing nothing right exactly correct so this rebound is supposed to happen now up according to the rebound it should have been higher but even 13.5 13.5% is a very big number for a economy for economic growth and even that is not sufficient so the concern here is that even after the pandemic they, although there has been some improvement there has not been as much improvement as recommended by the or as suggested by the rebound correct otherwise it wouldn't be there right this would have been good news otherwise it would have been purely good news but there is an element of concern some revival post covid lower than rbi estimate okay simple parajita there is nothing to it it is simple this news item is saying there is 13.5% growth but even that growth is lower than rbi why is it a matter of concern because it is a post covid type growth and it was expected that the growth should be much higher but it is not that high that's it nothing more that is what it is going to be about and you see when we come back to it that is what we will extract yes you are right hush kamatan raju you are also correct 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 you are you are all absolutely right let us move on let us move on i am skipping this page i am skipping that other page right now which continues these news because you know that right now in round 1 we do not go into the details we only read the heading and the subject on page number 3 on page number 3 i see city news do you want me to focus on it yes or no according to the rules of our protocol i will do as you suggest let me see what you say no okay if you say so fine i will move ahead i see another one on city okay fine fine i agree i move ahead on page number 5 i find there is a complete section on government and politics do you want me to focus on that what do you suggest for the upsc exam should i be focusing on this hmm no 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 yes 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 no okay hmm yes yes i agree i agree that there are some state news which are important but like we discussed in round 1 we don't worry about it. in round 1 we are only looking at extracting estimating figuring out what the importance of it is marking what is important ignoring what is not important politics no but government yes so i would definitely need to look at these articles i would need to look at these for for once i should i should i would need to look at these and i have to figure out if it is purely political or is it governance related exactly right akula venkatesh is right i need to see if there is some governance related stuff in it it's fine if i miss it i may miss it i may catch it but i will not dismiss it all together politics no governance yes this is a difference between polity and governance they are not the same thing politics and polity are different you will learn that soon enough soon enough so in this page on page number 5 which do you want me to focus on which news do you want me to focus on already uh, some students are already way ahead of it you want me to share my screen can you see this page number 5 this one this this is the page i'm talking about page number 5 yes i agree absolutely correct exactly copyright this copyright issue this copyright issue if you think about it and have, without having no knowledge about it 
it's about telegram how many of how many of us use telegram i think we use a lot of telegram don't you think so it's about telegram issues it is directly relevant to us even otherwise if not for the exam but certainly to us is it not it really it is isn't it so we are going to mark it we are just going to box it we'll see what it is we don't even need to think much about what it might be but we know that it will be important somewhere or the other we'll mark it now let us come to the next page which is which looks like this expert network on this page which ones would you like me to mark i'll mark exactly those you nominate them yes so yash we can we can have the twin tower issue also no problem cattle disease harsha exactly this lumpy skin do you remember from last session this lumpy skin issue also it cropped up there also it's been coming constantly yes absolutely agreed lumpy skin disease in cattle we discussed it has been ongoing and it is constantly coming we are going to mark it for sure even though we already please note that you know that first day that we did the analysis we already got the lumpy skin issue and we will have it again but the point is that once it is recorded with you whenever you go back and trace your steps it will be right there and you won't miss it you would like me to have the posco issue also all right i will mark it i won't think much about it because i'm not going to read the details but i'll mark it if you if you want me to i have marked the posco issue there's no issue i don't see anything else very relevant to this let's come to the next page let's come to page number 7 this this page it's a huge infographic about gangsters about organized crime it's about organized crime which article would you like me to mark here what would you like me to mark the uab bhakti yes bhakti wants me to mark it yes uapa i i think i should mark uapa unlawful activities prevention act and even if you don't know what that is even if you don't know what that is there is enough information in the infographic okay that here is here is one interesting observation of mine very simple observation nothing miraculous or spectacular delhi it says delhi police invokes uapa to check gangsters free run assume assume that we do not know what is uapa let's say that we don't know what is uapa can we infer can we deduce what it might be just from these words just from the way it is phrased it says delhi police see delhi police invokes uapa to check gangsters free run what do you think uapa will be noyonika doesn't matter if you don't know you will get to know but the question is can you understand wha- what it might be that's what we are doing it's called the guesstimation game we are right now playing the guesstimation game guesstimation game yes it's about unlawful activities and it is obviously a law to check organized crime because it is being used against gangsters what else could it be nothing but common sense that's it correct yes 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 and therefore it becomes a issue of security yes it becomes the issue of law and order it becomes important we'll mark it we will box it out we'll see later what it is in round two. and round 2 also i will ask you questions and you will be telling me what i should be writing yes yes agreed nena no, no, absolutely no. yes agreed radhika perfect observation it is some kind of law against crime that is all we needed to know that tells us more than enough that we are going to box it we will move ahead okay yes i agree many many of you said ncrb yes 16 human trafficking cases agreed 100% we should have it i have marked it you also mark it nothing else i don't see anything really which strikes me as particularly important i move on and i come to now this editorial page in editorial page what do you want me to highlight and why do you want me to highlight the tragic hero so it's all gorbachev basically all of it is gorbachev 
they unfollowed the leader, Gorbachev, Gorbachev. All right. Okay. Hmm. Hey, two years to Paris. Two years to Paris. Do you want me to mark this one? I I just want you to read this. Nothing more. I just want you to read what the title is. It says, it says Commonwealth Games successes are only halfway marker at the Olympic Games. Important? Tanu, why do you say not important? Yes, I agree it is important. How, how do you say that it is important? Why do you say it's important? Because it's an issue of the national interest. You see, India's performance in sports is important. May be important, but we definitely know enough that we are not going to delete it. We are not eliminating it. It might be, it might not be. We know enough. We, we know enough by now to mark it. We will box it out. Please box it out. Yes, it's about India's performance. Obviously, when we read about it, that is what we will find. And we will also find that it is about it will contain some important things, I'm sure. Although I have not read it to be perfectly honest with you. I presume neither have you. That's completely fine. Hmm. Come to this page. This page strikes me as more important. And tell me about this. Tell me about this article. Electricity bill. Power and its discontent. That's a very catchy title. Concerns of states on some provisions of new electricity bill are justified, but it also proposes welcome correctives to long-standing problems. I know, assume that I know nothing about this. I know nothing about it. I don't need to know anything about it. You remember, you were just asking me about what happens if we miss some important state news. And you remember last time I mentioned that if something pertinent to the states is important enough, it gets captured somewhere or the other. Either it gets repeated or you find an editorial about it after a few days, or it gets captured somewhere. Now there is apparently something related to electricity bills for states and it is causing some discontent. There is some debate about it. At least that much we can deduce. Would you like me to mark it? Yes, I agree. Let's do that. Tell me about this. Let me draw your attention to this and this. History bites the dust. CAG report shines a light on pitiable state of heritable conservation. Do you want me to mark it? And what do you think it means? Yes, Jaksha, that's a that's a good way to put it. Jaksha says, whenever you see the word bill, you mark it. It's, it's smart. I agree. History bites the dust. I agree. We should mark it. Okay. Why do you think it's important? Obviously, it's very obvious. It's patently obvious. But why do you think it's important? What do you think is the core issue that is going to be spoken about here? What do you think? CAG report, yes. That, of course, makes it important. If CAG report is there, then it's important somehow. Even if you don't know what is CAG. Yes, it's about our culture. It's about heritage. Yes. Yes, agreed. Brilliant. Everybody got it. Excellent. Excellent. We are we are going to move on. Excellent. We will come back to this. You will see. Okay. Let's move on to this. And tell me what would you like me to mark? Would you like me to mark this when we have already had quite a lot about Gorbachev? I don't think we need to mark it because we already have the whole editorial section, everything is about him. So we can ignore this for now. But what about this? Notice the caption. Notice the caption. The caption, weapons of war. Hmm. Weapons of war. Gazprom cuts off gas flow to Germany for maintenance to resume at 20% capacity. Something interesting seems to be happening between Europe and Russia. And you know, or you may know, or you may come to know if you don't know, that this issue of energy security, absolutely correct, is a big deal. And as this war between Russia and Ukraine has progressed, this issue of energy security has become more and more relevant. Let us assume that I don't know what is Gazprom. I don't know what is Gazprom. And I, I, I don't know what the issue is. 
but I do know that it appears to be important. It says weapons of war. Notice that. It says weapons of war and then it talks about energy. How is energy a weapon of war? Let me ask you this question. Whoever answers this question perfectly will get extra credits. Why is energy and this issue of gas flow a weapon of war? Arvind, I am sure you can make it again. Why? Why is there a weapon of war? Why is a weapon of war word used there? Energy use as weapon. Very good, Prakash. Yes. Nuclear. No, no, not nuclear. Not nuclear. Sanjay, not, not in this context. Not in this context. Yes. Malar, you are right. Resource prices. Yes, you are right. Nuclear. Ukraine issue. Yes, yes. You are close. You are close, but you are not hitting the bullseye. Yes, that's correct. That's, that's correct. That's exactly correct. Yes, that's correct. I don't know, Google everything. Uh, Krishna, you're also correct. You're also correct. Agree. Can I say something about this? Just a word or two, if you allow me. About this Russian issue of um, you know, the weapon of war, as it has been mentioned in the newspaper. Perfect. You are absolutely correct. I could not agree more. Yes, as many of you have already pointed out, it's saying weapon of war and then it's talking about energy flow because that's how wars are not just fought with weapons and tanks and drones. Wars may be fought by various other mechanisms. Economically also they may be fought. Yes. What about sanctions? If this is not a reply to the sanctions, then what is it? Are sanctions not or can they not be used potentially as weapons of war? Yes, it is possible. I'm, we are not saying anything about the intention or making any expert comments because we don't know that much. But we do know that there is an overlap here. That much we can deduce. The newspaper is telling us we don't have to deduce it. We just have to read it. Yes, you, you agree with me on that? That's right. That is why it was important. Had it been a normal peacetime issue, let me ask you this question now, ladies and gentlemen. Had it been a normal peacetime issue, had there been no war between Russia and Ukraine, would this article have been that important? Would it have been that important if there was a brief cut in the supply of gas from Russia to Ukraine? No. Yes, that's correct. No. That is why, you see, that that's what, perfectly correct, perfectly correct. And that's what I'm trying to illustrate. That is what I'm trying to also have you internalize. When you read the, the articles, when you read the subheadings, when you read the caption, a lot is being told to you. A lot is being communicated. How much can you capture? Because when we look at it, we don't really tend to think about it. Now we are enjoying it. We are thinking about it because we are engaging with it. We are thinking about it. We are talking to it. it. We want it to tell us what it is really wanting to say. Yes. That is a difference between how we read normally and what we are doing today. That is what I would like you to tell. So, the crux of the whole thing, though we will complete the whole thing, is when we do this round one, when we do this boxing out protocol, when we do filtering of the newspaper, we are not just eliminating things. We are engaging with it. We are asking it questions. We are forming an opinion in our mind. We are second guessing what the content will be. We are not passive in the process. We are engaging with it. That means applying your mind. That is what it means to apply your mind. This is what we need in the first round. Moving on. Moving on. Something about the Euro European Union and the tightening of visas seems to relate to the same issue. Seems to relate to the same issue. Look at this. This seems to be quite important to me. I will increase my screen for you so that you can see this. I have highlighted it. See what this is. 
there is something wrong with our analysis if we miss this and it is being given to a psychiatrist so in any case this is going to be important yes yes we can't we can't not capture this one we have to get it what about this imf likely to take bailout call today since we cannot read anything we have only have to take a call only we have to take a call based on the title do you want to do you want to have it yes i think so i, I think we should mark it even though it might or might not be that important we will only see later but it, i suppose it's worth marking yes agreed all right okay and it may or may not be definitely worth that's correct and that is correct so then do you think this should be marked although although we have seen that gorbachev is the main headline of the entire newspaper why do you think i should mark this the relationship between gorbachev and rajiv gandhi two leaders whose fortunes rose and fell almost in tandem inaugurated a five year waltz between india and the erstwhile soviet union yes all right yes we should mark it why why do you think this is important why do you think it is important and what is this important um, yes india india russia relations that's very correct yes yes very good that's perfectly correct i am going to mark it i am going to mark it because this article connects that international news about gorbachev's death directly to india and i am likely to find some very useful terms i am also likely to find some very useful analysis so i'm going to mark it anti radiation pills hmm what about this do you want to mark this anti radiation pills issue what about this do you want to do you want to mark it why read read the subtitle read the subheading for this anti radiation pill item see what it says guess play the guesstimation game see what it says it says now being supplied to ukraine though these tablets can protect against radioactive iodine during a nuclear emergency hmm without going into it if you see if 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 there is in any part of the world if radioactive pills are being distributed and there is a fear of a nuclear emergency then we are marking it for sure that's not even a question and it is super important i don't know what type of issue there might be because i haven't gone to it I mean, of course you're right pranjal you're right having read it you know that it is about the power plant but had it been about a power plant or something else i'm going to write mark it i'm going to mark it. i'm going to make fix ignore this intermittent fasting thing but what about this ndps act this is definitely strikes me as important because it has been in the news a uh, lot of news because of celebrities and even otherwise ndps is a very important act agreed mark it marking it and moving on moving on and now on to the economy section macro watch price rise high inflation risk of recession widen ecb dilemma do you want to mark it this it might or might not be important i am not so sure but yes it i would definitely i would not i would mark it and then i would judge i would basically judge it in the second round and see whether it's important or not enough to note it but i would mark it in the first round to be safe there is no penalty for marking extra things because we are obviously going to find out if it is important or not okay uh it's obvious very obvious but what do you think about this core sector output at 6 months low crude natural gas hit the most it says fiscal deficit july fiscal surplus 
these economic terms are being dropped you want to market very important word of sales yes i agree agreed agreed we'll market we'll see what it is joblessness also it appears to be important something urban joblessness this one this one labor market improving says dea joblessness declines so that's good news joblessness declines to 7.6% in april june 2022 and so okay so now i have a tricky one for you now this this is not obvious those, those were obvious this one is not so obvious what do you think about this sony z merger and competition issue what is the central importance should i market or not and if yes then why why ziba says yes it's important why is it important and what what does the subtitle tell us nikita i would tend to disagree i think it's important although it sounds like corporate news competition commission level playing field yes it's exactly correct it's exactly correct exactly correct no kripan kripanchu it might be important we cannot say it's not important it is about a corporate merger but you see what it is saying read that's why we have to read every subheading a little closely sony z merger can hurt competition says cci notice this cci is competition commission of india yes that's important yes mamta vijay lakshmi the idea is competition commission of india and we will see what happens in competition commission of india in time but what it does is it wants to make sure that capitalism is regulated that there are no monopolies so if there are monopolies then those monopolies have too much power and that is not healthy for the for an open market now if sony and z already very big giants very big giants yes corporate giants multinational companies if they combine and if they merge it may hit competition because they may become monopolistic that's the issue i am only guessing i haven't read it yes now you got yes, that's correct that's correct that's correct that is why the competition commission of india might be intervening now we will see later what it is but we are marking it we are marking it we are not interested in the cfo resigning or spice jets losses as such maruti ev what maruti maruti will do for you see this stuff maruti's first ev to target upper we are not concerned with what maruti's plans are what their corporate marketing plans are is not important for us we are also not interested in spice jet losses so you know who would be interested in this why spice jet loss widen cfo why is this there why is maruti's ev sector there it is important for people who invest in the share market it is important for people who have purchased share who are invested in these companies these are very big companies yes but not so important for upsc not so important it is the job of the newspaper to bring important news out for everyone yes that's exactly correct that is that this is how we develop this intuition of what to use what to ignore we are not interested in zomato something here about windfall taxes i am not so sure i will see later then we come to sports news there is seem to be important after transfer what then nothing has seems to be it to be market you can we can uh, we can have perhaps we'll see what it is we can we can market to no problem you can market and there's no there's no strict rules you may find something important market there's no issue that is why there are two rounds maybe i miss one or two which are important maybe you miss one or two which are important the important the really important thing is that at the end of the day we end up capturing the important stuff aman you should be emailing this question to me and today focusing on this i will leave the sports section to you i trust your analysis enough to be able to capture it properly now 
now now now things get interesting uh, you remember at we had two rounds we've completed first round we completed first round and we did it very slowly we did it with some discussion so it took us a long while when you do it it will not take you so long we completed the box out protocol we boxed out certain items like this one then we played the guesstimation game yes now in round 2 as you know we fill this daily feeder page now we fill this daily feeder page let me magnify that you would have this with you maharishi you did not do a horrible job if you even tried it you are fine don't worry about it just the only thing is that you keep at it nothing more nothing more is required even if you are engaging for anybody who thinks that they were not able to follow it as much as they should have it's completely fine no judgment zero judgments no judgment zone we are all here to learn we are all here to grow and that's precisely what we do now this daily feeder page we come back to the first daily feeder page now i will ask you questions i will do what you suggest and you have to help me fill this form for me you help me fill this form today i won't use my mind you will use yours you will tell me what to do in the first article mikhail gorbachev who oversaw i will simply write what do you want me to write in what do you want me to write in event snapshot what would you like me to write in event snapshot pretty simple event snapshot is nothing but a very small condensed snapshot of what it is what much of passes away dead what of dead ussr cold war etc now now what do you want me to write in significance finder what do you want me to write in significance finder now we can now we can go through it a little bit and you also need to tell me the keywords fine i have done i have done event snapshot you also do it i have done event snapshot you also do that for you in your own page tell me uh, tell me significance finder what should i write in that here now we can read it we should be reading some text now in round 2 hmm collapse of cold war you say yes apurva that's correct hmm oh, very interesting it says that there were there were series of revolutionary changes there were series of revolutionary changes and he basically made things transparent and that's what he said so i'll write end of cold war i might write uh, revolutionary changes or whatever now obvious which which category in theoretical underpinnings do you want me to put it which category do you want me to put it do you want me to put it in international relations obviously obviously there is not much to it maybe maybe i'll also put it in polity because it is it is a bit of a historical issue uh, the india we had there was there was a lot of there is a lot of history with this non aligned movement there's a lot of stuff so i i'll put it in ir and i'll put it in polity and that's it tick 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 those two and let's move on now comes the interesting part now i want to know what your keywords are there are some very interesting keywords in this what are your keywords what do you want me to write in keywords iron curtain perfect exactly correct i was looking for that iron curtain i will write iron curtain yes anything else which comes out glasnost glasnost of course glasnost prestroika all of these things are there but they are not mentioned here so we won't get ahead of ourselves doesn't say much because this is an abbreviation and we then we would need to continue to page 2 it is continued on page 2 let us see what it says on page 2 what about that page 2 see if you can find any important 
keywords now you see in this in this continuation all of it is written nobel prize he won the nobel am i right about that yes he got the nobel prize in 1990 see page 2 yes 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 that's important and i think this nobel prize we can put in significance finder also we can put here nobel prize 1990 i'll write it just in case the upsc wants to ask there is a lot of good information here you see what do you find what catches your attention hmm that's interesting so we told just great geopolitical catastrophe of the century for putin and his fellow kgb veterans who now form the inner circle of power in russia gorbachev made no public statements hmm i am giving it a couple of minutes you also give it a couple of minutes some sometimes you do need to read important stuff it's a very nice uh, write up really it tells everything about gorbachev that we need to know disintegration yes kgb yes okay fine kgb is also i suppose a keyword why not correct baltics you see this baltics balkan so i mean i am no expert in russian history and neither are you but it obviously means that this issue that they have been having with the baltic states and you know uh, ukraine is very close to that area has always been an issue it was there before it is there now nuclear annihilation is that when mentioned somewhere if it is then it might be a good word to put no doubt about it anyway anyway so we 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 got some important stuff about that is no question about it we got some important stuff quickly coming to this uh, first quarter gdp first quarter gdp is this issue this issue here first quarter gdp and it's lower lpg reforms in india is that something mentioned what what is the significance finder what is the significance finder for this lp for this uh, gdp growth issue we already discussed it what do you say tanya we don't need to connect it to the indian perspective it will connect itself it is the indian perspective at least this gdp issue it is there is nothing else but the indian perspective. okay hmm read the first paragraph only read the first paragraph only what does it say read it you read it with me it says india's economy grew 13.5% from a year ago in april june quarter this fiscal its fast year on year growth rate in four quarters it was led by higher household consumption higher household consumption i don't know about you i am writing it down you want to write it down you can do that your job higher household consumption gdp up by 50% uh, 13.5 especially of contact intensive services contact intensive services yes suyash why is it mentioning contact intensive services like we just discussed just a while ago why we don't need to read further let us pause and figure it out right now is it contact intensive service because in covid yes in covid we did not have these contact intensive services they all took a hit nobody called anybody from urban club there was a lockdown all contact yes gyms restaurants everything was even tourism for the most part was hit badly yes 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 so so 
significance finder and from that point of view we know we know now what from the first paragraph we know where it is going we know where it is going yes yes that's exactly correct we move on we see something 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 we won't spend too much time because this is just a quarter you know quarter there are four quarters in a year this is just one quarter one quarter news so it changes from quarter to quarter but we'll see if there's something important for us to I find a word here on page two. On page two, if you can find it, capex. Yes, Pranjal, perfect. Capex. I honestly am not sure what capex is, but I for me it is a keyword. I am going to write it down. Capex. Then when I analyze these keywords later, I will see what they are. I agree. Capex is a, definitely striking me as a important keyword. I, another word I am finding here is GVA growth. Have you found GVA growth? See. Page number two. Yes, there are many keywords in this article. You found GVA growth, gross value added, which is GDP minus net product taxes. GVA growth. I am going to write GVA growth also. You also write. It. The government is focusing on higher capex, even as revenue expenditure remains proportionately lower. Fine. Now, skipping skipping this economic jargon, our analysis in the beginning, we had analyzed what it might be about. It was perfectly on the spot. It was on the bullseye. This is what it is about. This COVID after COVID initiation what the foreign markets are doing and how it is not really as buoyant as expected that is what it was we are already guessed it we will move ahead we will move ahead you come to this come to page number 5 and this telegram issue that we had highlighted i don't want to spend much time here because i know you will read it with a lot of interest anyway isha now we are in round 2 so we read in some detail telegram issue page 5 i am not going to i am not going to do it because i know you will do it perfectly come to page number 6 and find this uh, lumpy skin disease issue also find the posco issue find the two articles which we had mentioned lumpy skin and posco and tell me significance finder we already know for lumpy skin we already covered it we know what it is it's a disease of cattle it's cattle disease and it's affecting a lot of cattle and it's really uh, becoming an issue since it's constantly cropping up again and again in the newspaper what what keywords do you want do you want me to highlight from this lumpy skin disease issue what keywords do you want me to take let's see if you can find the same keywords as i do i found one keyword something else is written about it's not just vaccine something more is mentioned here yes sneha it is goat pox vaccine goat pox vaccine correct we will write goat pox vaccine sounds like an important word yes perfect okay find find me two more important ones tell me in this in the significance finder can you find out what the issue is significance finder it is related to this vaccine yes i agree that is one that is one keyword ndv that is lsd virus fine we can take that fine fine shortage of vaccines see it is written right there written right there shortage of this vaccine is an issue see i'll read it out for you as of now about 1 crore doses of goat pox vaccines are required as of now over 1 crore doses of goat pox vaccine are required yes no exact vaccine yes shortage of vaccine and that appears to be a governance issue in this thing it is affecting dairy production perfect yes anvesh yes this shortage of vaccine 
this it affecting dairy production this we mention this we mention in the significance finder for us when we go to that stage where we figure out governance issues we will analyze it but right now we have to see why what what is the issue what, why is it so important that it is not just the news it was not just the news about some disease which is spreading in the cattle was it of course it was about that but it was also saying a lot of important things it was saying yes yes the cattle the cattle are dying because of it it is also saying that we need more vaccines and it is also saying that there is no particular uh, solution to it it's affecting dairy pollutions these things see what is the difference between us this is very important so i would like to take a short time out very few second a few seconds of it which i want you to really capture understand it was about not just the lumpy skin issue it was about how vaccines were needed how it was affecting dairy production why do these become important for us in the significant finder why do these become important is because we have to prepare for the upsc exam these are the issues which the government faces to solve the problem our focus is not just on the problem but on the larger debate and the solutions to that problem and what hindrances exist to achieve those solutions now we know the hindrances now we know the core issue now in the upsc mains if the question comes it will be something like the lumpy skin disease in cattle could have been mitigated had there been a better something something about vaccines perhaps but then if it comes you would know exactly what it is yes we have analyzed it now a little bit we've gone into it a little bit that is what we are doing in round 2 in round 2 we extract the significance we extract the keywords we think about it a little bit deeper correct yes agmendu shravya sajal absolutely correct this posco thing i am skipping i know you can do it come to this uh, uapa issue come to this uapa issue on page number 7 and tell me what is the larger debate what is the larger debate tell me you are all absolutely correct about this yes no any way it might be an obstacle to that it's pretty much obvious that it's threatening no isha i don't think rajasthan gujarat haryana would be keywords no i don't think that would be those would be keywords security organized crimes but but i would like you to take a minute and see and find the significance find the significance and the larger issue which is mentioned in the article it will always be mentioned in the article i told you last time always let us see well, i i find it you will also find it let's see if we find the same thing right off the bat i start to notice keywords one of them is in, is in the second paragraph Hmm. agreed no you were right it is about national integrity it is about the fact that there have been several gangsters operating yes targeted killings high profile cases high profile killings it's mentioned there it's linked to some other very high profile criminal cases yes nia that is sneha i agree that would that would be a keyword for sure no doubt about it this is clear this one is not hard to interpret we can manage it we can handle it but what about what about the issue beyond just below the human trafficking issue ncrb data let's come to this human trafficking issue ncrb data find the significance what what would you put in significant finder in this human trafficking issue page number 7 human trafficking issue Hmm. 
Anvesha, it might be connected, but we should desist from making any connections which are not completely organic. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. What about the keywords? Three keywords in the human trafficking issue, human trafficking article. One of them is obviously the NCRB. Anti-human trafficking units. That's it. I would write also that Jharkhand performed best. Jharkhand best. In keywords, I would mention it. Maybe in keywords, maybe in significance. Yes, Amal, I agree. I would definitely take a note of this somewhere. That top performer is Jharkhand. But maybe I would also take a note of who is the worst performer. Highest number of trafficking cases were registered in Telangana. It is mentioned here. It is mentioned here. Yes, Rina, correct. Extortion. Yes, yes, these are all interconnected issues. So obviously, when we put this anti-trafficking issue, okay, in this anti-trafficking, the human trafficking issue, which all would you like to mark in theoretical underpinnings? Do you want to put it in society? Agreed. Your keywords, keywords, I know you get it. That's no issue. Governance, society. What about social justice? What about social justice? Yes. Also in that. Certainly in that. Yes. Internal security also fine. Okay. But I, I suppose maybe it's a bit of a stretch to take it to security. But definitely social justice. Definitely society. Definitely governance. Yes, Uyash, that may or may not mean we are not going into the depths of the merits of the case or the arguments. We are going into analyzing it and filtering it for our purposes. I agree. I would definitely also do it just like you have done. I will put it in social justice. I will also put it in polity. Not polity, perhaps. Perhaps polity, yes, because it does talk about this important uh, NCRP, National Crime Records Bureau, and that's an organization. I would put it in polity also. I would also put it in governance. Security, okay, if you wish to, no problem. I would put it in social justice also. And society also. Datta Prashad, there is nothing not to understand. You have to select which all subjects, which all subjects that article should be categorized as. This is geography, society, polity, governance, international relations, social justice, security, environment, economics, science and tech. Tisha, you can put you can put it in governance also, but also you should put it in science. Lumpy skin. Lumpy skin disease. But this one, this one definitely, I agree, Yashi. It is social justice, governance, polity for sure, no doubt about it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Last article for today, last article for today, which you are going to analyze for me. Next page, editorial page, Commonwealth Games issue. Next page, Commonwealth Game issue, Significance Finder. First thing we do, Significance Finder. What do you think is the significance? I am talking about... This one. Two years to Paris. This one. Let us see. Let us see. You say Paris 2024. Let me check that. Hmm. Already we have a few keywords coming in. Some important names are there. Amit Fangal. Do you remember we had this article in the last time we discussed about uh, a boxer and there was a lot of, a whole page was dedicated to him. It's the same guy.
hierarchy of global ranking in terms of achievement in games anvesha that's very well put very nice very nice weekend sports title that article commonwealth games successes no so yash it should be filled every day otherwise it will lose its meaning uh, so these names amit fangal vinesh fogart the names of the athletes i would put those names in the keyword as a keyword importance to sport but it really is about how the level of competition between the commonwealth games and the one between the olympics is a there's a huge gap and just because we have done very well in the commonwealth games doesn't mean we'll do well in the olympics am i correct about that all right okay one final one final article then we end the session let us do this one that i think should be interesting this one cag report indian heritage page number 9 let's do this one very quickly and then we'll bid farewell what in this article i am not going to read it you are going to read it and tell me what should i put as the significance finder in this article you can take a minute to read it no problem uh, asi nma are good keywords for sure protect they are keywords I, i agree but what about significance finder yes pramit you are much more to the point status of heritage conversation conservation preserving heritage yes correct cag poor state of heritage conservation conservation of our monuments callousness is huh. this amasr act good for keywords jyoti that's very nice nikita that's good correct 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 uh, sucharita that angram la tal that should be in the keywords but our significance finder that tells us what the important issue is what the central debate is about anand tal lake we should put as keyword i agree but not in significance finder necessarily and yes namrata shukla i agree agreed yes it is about budgeting and the cc and agreed no okay so am i am i allowed to say that really it is about how the cag has pointed out that conservation requires a better utilization of funds it's not just about the lack of conservation it's about how funds are not being utilized for the that conservation effort as effectively as it should be is that correct is that what i should be saying am i able to capture the entire essence in that statement cag points out under utilization of the funds leading to low conservation of heritage that is the real issue it's not only about the cag report it's not only about conservation it's about how they are interrelated and what the cag having said and pointed out is particularly about budget utilization that's what it is about that is that is what we need to find i didn't read the whole thing but that much we can definitely extract from all of this and obviously now the comptroller auditor general is the auditor auditor they audit they audit accounts they also audit many other things but essentially they pinpoint about any shortcoming or misgivings about how funds are being utilized and spent that is their mandate for the most part and that what they seem to have done and this article by nayan jyot lahiri is highlighting that that is what 
whatever you want to put in snapshot see i would put cag report about heritage conservation that i would put as snapshot and in significance finder i would probably say that it was about under utilization of funds and then in keywords then i would put some keywords some very important keywords you already mentioned you already told me it should be asi you also mentioned ams asr act which is apparently reappearing many times that appears to be also very important then so that would be those would be my keywords maybe one or two more if i find them maybe one or two more if i find them now now that ladies and gentlemen that brings us to the end of this session where what we have done we have done precisely what we did the last time we followed the same protocols we followed the same procedure we followed the same rules but what we did not do last time was we didn't engage with the newspaper as much we did not ask the newspaper questions we did not ask ourselves questions about what it might mean and you have you noticed have you noticed that when we start to ask the right questions to ourselves must much of it becomes clear even without reading is that correct or not when we ask the right questions without reading the whole text much of it comes to us automatically from our own minds at times yes i agree at times it is important to go deeper but this is something we do every day and for neha who thinks that it might not be sufficient it is sufficient if it is done 365 times 365 times you do this exercise are you telling me that your knowledge network will not grow it will grow exponentially it will it will break the boundaries your knowledge network will break the boundaries of the subjects it will no longer be restricted to polity or geography or economics or anything that is what the upsc wants from you really they will just spread others why are you restless about theoretical underpinning it just means subjects just the subjects about which you want to categorize it in. right so we will build a intuition about this as we keep doing it we have to i will tell you next time next time when i meet you it will be yes gorav is correct it will be after 7 days of you having done the keyword analyzer keep doing this if you have not done it so far start to do it today this keyword analyzer page we will meet on yes on sunday we will have it will be exactly 7 days from the last session and then some interesting things will happen these keywords that you will extract we will use them to do something more do not stop this keyword uh, daily feeder page continue this daily feeder page i will see you on sunday trust the process enjoy the process don't let the streak break don't let the streak break right now nothing else is required no editorial essay don't go don't try to become the perfect upsc aspirant in one hour it doesn't work it's a long process you are getting there already you've taken the first steps you're already getting there yes all right with that i'll sign off and i will see you very soon i'll see you on sunday don't let the streak break please i am very impressed with everybody who has been able to continue their streaks it's in- incredible to see don't let it break i will see you next time and we'll have some much a lot of more things to do whoever does not know where to find this it can be found in the previous video description in the description there is a link you can sign up on that link this page will come on email on that and then you will simply take a print out of it it's very simple i will uh, use that same description in the link over here as well right okay with that ladies and gentlemen i will sign off and i will see you next time take care